doesn't seem like a place you find good men. We're not looking for good men. We're looking for mercenaries. We have no hope of taking the fortress without them. If we make it far enough to hire them with those things out there... I was hoping it wasn't a corpse I was dragging home. A bit, a bit weird, that, eh? <laughs> My man, <clears throat> what happened? I'm sorry, lad. They weren't as lucky as you. Thank you for saving me. Oh, don't thank me. Uh, thank this. <clears throat> that little darling's a bit twitchy, but she should get you up to my camp, no trouble. I've uh, got a newer one myself. Worked out all the hitches. Hitches? Word of advice about the climb. If you don't like heights, don't look down. And if you don't like dwarf asses, don't look up. My name is Berenor. I am second captain of the Gondorian Guard at Minas Ethel. Minas Ethel has fallen some time ago, I believe. I am seeking soldiers. Well, it's difficult to be a captain without them. Lucky for you, I've got the finest warriors in all of Middle Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Do you carry coin of any kind? Some. Some. You're going to need a lot more than some. <laughs> What are your plans for the raid? I assume you're not planning to retake Minas Ethel. I'm planning to take Shindrum. The fortress? No, 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 no. <laughs> that sounds like the work for heroes. All I can offer you are mercenaries. Look, why don't you come back when you have some more money? Or sense? What art? How do you know that name? You haven't changed! I remember a boy of seven, small for his age, so he had a lot to prove. And one day, he decided that he was going to explore the caves of Umbar, but he got himself into a little bit of trouble. Lucky for him, he had a brother, a beautiful, courageous, older brother who was sent to look for him. And by the time that champion reached him, he was moments away from being devoured by Karagors. <laughs> Karagors? Jagai? No, 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 little brother. I, I am Sarka now. Sarka, the unkillable. Sarka, the insufferable. Sarka, the survivor. But I still bear some scars from my former life. How did you come to be here, among these Easterlings? Same old story. A village is raided, homes are looted, mothers and fathers are slaughtered, screaming tears. Orcs. Mercenaries. How is it? I should be thankful, though, of course, eh? Not every boy gets the chance to be raised among such a merry band of killers and thieves! <laughs> but you lead them. Yeah, only until I get a knife in my back. And believe me, that is how all leaders end up. But enough history. Blood only goes so far. You and I, we have business to transact.
Tell me, brother, what do you see? Orcs, wagons, or orcs. Do you know what I see? Coin, fortune, and enough danger to make it fun. It seems you have better eyes than I do. It looks too, but who's keeping track? I suppose this coin you speak of is in those wagons, those surrounded by guards. They're soon to be dead guards. No survivors. The Overlord can't know that this is us. After all, he is paying us to keep these deliveries safe. You're working for the Orcs? <sighs> Look, in this line of work, I can't choose where my coin comes from. Besides, if you're thinking about taking over that fortress, you're going to need my men. And if you need men, you need coin. Help me, brother. I'll give you a family discount. How generous. Done. Cut off the enemy's supply line. That was also my supply line! I need to keep the coin flowing. Do you see those men back there? Those are not soldiers. Their loyalty is bought, and when they stop getting paid, their blades are no longer under my control. These are marauder orcs. When we take their fortress, you'll get half their fortune, and I'll use the other half to pay you and your men for whatever comes next. All right. You know, coin is one thing, and fortress is another. Oh, I hope you've got a great plan. <laughs> if you're serious about taking this fort and getting me my coin, We'll need to find out what we're up against, and we'll need to be discreet. I wouldn't want to ruin your reputation among the Orcs. Now we know what we're dealing with. I've seen two kinds of mercenary, brother. One of them fights for gold, and the other seeks death in whatever way he can find it. I'm starting to think you're the second kind. Welcome, sir. Would you like to hire more of my mercenaries? Where is Circa? I am Zoja, and the Vanishing Sons have chosen a new leader. Prices may have gone up since you... Where is my brother? Your brother! <laughs> you see, I had a brother once. His name was Serka. And then a stranger came, and he started to forget who his family was, his real family. Men who followed him, fled with him. He started to think he could work against us, against our patrons. No need for that. I gave him to a very fine fellow by the name of Ujak. He runs a fight pit called the Circus. Very entertaining. All sorts of warriors and beasts. You wouldn't think a man could get torn apart in so many ways. I will be back. Make sure you bring plenty of coin. There'll be no more family discounts around here, my friend. Circus, a call of blood and pain. The 
This is where flesh eats flesh, and where today you are the main attraction. You're quite the showman. I'll enjoy it. Now to deal with Zosha. Oh, yeah. I told that stinking overlord that the vanishing sons would be at his service, loyal as ever. Sarka, wait! Sarka has returned! Huh? <laughs> Sarka the Unkillable, Sarka the Insufferable, Sarka the Destroyer! But if any of you would like to return to my good graces, Sarka the Merciful asks only one thing. Take this piece of filth and throw him to the worms! Please, please! No, 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 no! no! <laughs> you think he's going to protect you? You're dead! You're all dead! <laughs> And that is how you lead mercenaries, little brother. As long as they're ready for what comes next. I've got to hand it to you, brother. This is a hell of a plan. Let's get started. Are your men ready? We're under attack! <laughs> we have won! I don't understand you. Your home has been destroyed. Scores of your men are dead. Ugh. The orcs will be coming back to finish you up. What have we won? Today's fight. Today's fight? What about tomorrow's? And the next day? And the next day? There's no end to it. Uh... All right. All right. <sighs> You're right. There is no end to it. This isn't the first time I've lost everything. They don't call me unkillable because I don't lose. It's because I never stop fighting. If I did, that would be the end of me. Trying to take that fortress could be the end of you. You don't realize it, or you don't care. Either way, you're insane. You're the one who traveled across Mordor to get to the desert. Allied with questionable mercenaries? Destroyed a canyon with a worm? Huh? When you put it that way, it does sound insane. <laughs> insane, yeah. <laughs> I think... Now you understand me. My brother. Come on. <sighs> oh, I think I saw you flying yesterday. He likes us much. He's about to like us a lot less. Attack! You, you're the one who took my arm. 
It's time to even the score. I'm going to tear off every limb you have before I kill you. Well, that doesn't seem even. Even would be an arm for an arm. I got bored out there. Truly is a splendid dwelling. The finest place I've ever called home. Some would call it ostentatious. Not me. The Marauder Orcs may be bloodthirsty demons, but they have impeccable taste. They were always going to try and retake it. Who can blame them? How unfortunate for them that they will find it unoccupied. Where are the man pigs? He does like to put on a show, doesn't he? It's a she. Gwendolyn. I checked her underbits. Uh, I have not forgiven your debt, Master Dwarf. Hey, I know where you live. Well, at least I have a place to live, eh? He's got me there. You know, there are other fortresses. Much grander than this one. Tell me more. Gorgoroth, for one. How do you feel about lava? Uh, well, look, if there's going to be more battles, you'll need a title. I think I'm fine. Uh, Baranor the Worm Herder. No. Uh, Baranor the Disarming. Very clever. Uh, Baranor the Dwarf Friend. I don't know about friend. Baranor the Manbird. Definitely not. Baranor the Conqueror. Whoa, that's not bad. Let's go with Manbird.